Bob Irm goes in on Eddie Hearns in the UK boxing. Any point, Esther? No. And, and, and they had no obligation to notify me, but they certainly had an obligation to notify Oscar Rivas and his manager. That was an absolute disgrace. The, the BBC always had a reputation for integrity and the highest standards in the sport, this and that. What they're doing is absolutely a disgrace to boxing, a disgrace to British boxing. I mean, something is wrong here, and they have to be investigated. It, it was not only the, 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 the performance-enhancing drugs that they found, but what about what they did with the gloves? I mean, and what about the referee when, when Revis has him in trouble in the late rounds? Breaking it up every every twenty seconds. Same thing with Tom and Joshua. Warning him. What? Same thing with Tom and Joshua. I don't know if you remember yeah. that fight. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. What's the what's the solution? Because I find it so ironic. I, I go to my hotel room. You know, I have nothing to do but read articles. I'm here by myself, yeah. and, and I say, How the hell? I feel like I can talk to you, Bob. Like I'm in the streets a little bit. How the hell can these motherfuckers? overvalue a glove and warn everyone about some boxing gloves but not warn everyone involved that uh, Dillian White has PEDs in the system. I, I, I don't well, well I, I think they're two different it's things. It's two different things. Yeah, one, they should have no question about it and they shouldn't allow them to fight. Uh -huh. Number two, with the gloves, they approve certain gloves, the fighters. You know I mean? And then the guy comes in, Dillian White, with another brand of glove and he has them on and they say, well, too late. Too late what? These aren't the gloves we approved. And then they didn't let him even examine the gloves wow. after the fight. After the fight. So he probably has some more. You remember, I, re I, re no, I remember. I remember. Marguerite wasn't the gloves. It was the wraps. The wraps, but, that's what I mean, but, yeah. but I remember a, a, a tragedy when... Uh, uh, on the Duran card, Duran and uh, and Duran and uh, Davy Moore, okay. when when they had when they when they had uh, they took the padding out of the gloves and uh, and uh, Billy Collins got got stopped uh, and when the father looked, he saw there was no padding in the glove. The commission then. Uh, had the investigation, it ended up with uh, criminal uh, sanctions. Uh, but the idea that they wouldn't, they allowed him to fight on gloves that nobody had approved, and secondly, they didn't allow an examination of the gloves after the fight. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? It tells you all they give a shit about is for their own fighters. They turn this into a CD business, and that's for the BBC, which had such a sterling reputation. For them to do something like this is the disgrace. And and why am I so upset? Well, because I'm in boxing. But secondly, I got Lomachenko going over there to fight August 31st. And these guys are going to figure out ways to screw Lomachenko. But Lomachenko is so good that you can't beat him. <laughs> but, but that leads us to litigation. Bob, before you got into boxing, you were working on Capitol Hill, if I'm not mistaken. And no, in the U.S. Attorney's Office. U.S. Attorney's Office. I do something like that. Yeah. And, uh... Uh, what's the legal ramification as it relates to dealing White in the episode last week? Well, I, you know, let them figure it out. They have lawyers. They're going to, Oscar Rivas and uh, Yvonne Michelle are going to figure it out. And, uh, you know, I don't want to kibitz that part of it. Now, does that go to a no contest or do we have to wait for the B sample? To, uh... Well, you have to wait for the B sample. And... Uh, uh, I think it'll end up to be a no contest, but I think there's other liability, criminal liability, I mean, Thank you. big Thank civil you. liability, Thank yeah, you, I think so, I think so, the fact that they had him go in with a fight that tested dirty, I think the fact that he was unfair competition by giving the other fighter the edge and so forth, I think you're making a no contest, but you got to pay damages for that. You got it.